Exactly a year ago today, a powerful derecho swept through northeast Indiana. Our Andy Newman spoke to a man in 21 country who's finally back to where he was last year. And Ham radio enthusiast Jim Pleat was in for quite a surprise after the derecho, and it's been a bumpy road since. Jim Pleat has hit the ham radio airwaves for nearly seven decades. I started when I was about 14 years old. And for three of those decades, Pleat has had a radio tower in his Columbia City backyard. The night of the Jure show, he wasn't tuned in to the danger that was coming. My wife says, well, maybe you ought to put the tower down. I have a tilt over tower. I said, nah, it's probably nothing. After the storm shocked the airwaves, this is a crazy day. <laughs> a crazy day was exactly what Pleat was in for. The next morning, I walk out here and I see my tower is crashed. I was I simply stunned. But the tower wasn't Pleat's only concern, as the next day, his body was, after falling off the ladder, attempting to fix the tower. I had a uh, broken pelvis and a broken arm. It was a week in the hospital. After that, it was another month of rehab. K-9 OMA was out of commission and in need of help to remove his fallen tower and get himself back on the air. Thankfully, he dialed in on the right frequency. The biggest help I had was the Whitley County Radio Club, and it was like a, like a team of monkeys. They were all over that tower. A year later, Pleat's new tower is finally up and running. Got a copy on K9 OMA. And he's forever grateful for his fellow hams. Those guys were real heroes. They really saved the day for me because I just, just couldn't do it and had no idea who could. Pleat's tower was officially complete yesterday, so if you have a ham radio, be sure to listen for K9 OMA. Andy Newman, 21 Alive.